All right, guys, to run over a quick support and resistance level, if you'd like to pull up Verizon on TradingView, you can follow along or you can watch this video. We're going to draw this resistance level, and Verizon's been forming since you know late 2018. You can see it ran up the first time here. We can see the retest, and we can start to see the third time's a chomp forming as of late. Now, if we focus on this first, first attempt and then a retest, this first attempt here is usually when the money comes in and chases, expecting the stock to just continue higher forever, and that's usually not the case. This is when your buddy who knows nothing about the market tells you to buy the stock, and it's absolute worst time. Now, what I'm saying this is the re that's the reason why this resistance or this retest tends to form, because the people that buy the stock in here, and they do, and they sit through this pain, they tend to want to get out as close to break even as humanly possible, which causes this air resistance to form. So that's why you'll see, you'll never see any stock that we're buying. You'll never see us chasing a new high the first time. You'll never see us wanting to buy the retest because this is typically filled, which is the dumb money crowd up here. Now, if we see down here below, below near support, you can see that we actually traded this recently with these green circles. Now, again, new traders, they like to buy on the way down. They think they're getting a sick deal. We're buying off support. We buy on the way up off of support. So we can see here this name got smoked push through support. You can see that support was holding up here. All 2018, 53 was the level. And when it comes back down, look, first time, second time, third time, fourth time, this is when it pushes everyone out. Everyone who is now long through here and here is expecting or wanting or wishing this area to hold. And what happens, you have all these stops below 53. And they all get pushed out and they have to chase. So again, we're not trying to be in this crowd. We want to just buy as they're chasing. So we took a couple little little cute trades in it, trying to prepare for that breakout. You have to remember in a name like Verizon, you're not going to catch 10 points. If you can get two, three, four points in Verizon, it's a pretty big move. You can see here we bought up the resistance a couple of times and made a couple of dollars in it. And we took it again here. It just wasn't ready. Um, but you can again you can see here that you can see 61 was resistance. And then we can see that 53 was this support area. Now as of late and as we start to get more into this better setup, higher probability, third, fourth time's a charm, we can see that the support of 53, these buyers stepped up, and now they're holding 54, which is a great sign. And then again, we're not trying to buy 61 versus 54. We need this name to flag out and form a little bit more of a tighter setup for us to want to buy. But the reason why we want to buy it over here is that this crowd is out of the stock they're, they're, they don't have the patience to hold it. And when it gets up here is when the people over here were getting out for break even, they're the ones saying there's no way the stock can trade higher. It's, it's, it can't go higher simply because they were in, they're never going to buy it here. You know, they'll buy 61, give it a 52, and then get out break even. We'll buy 61 versus 60, take it four or five, six points on a dollar risk, and not have to sit through any of this, this disaster. So hopefully this lesson helps a little bit. I'd like you to do go through your Dow 30 watch list and try to post one or two charts where you can see a defined level of support and resistance. And the longer the time frame, again, this has been setting up for almost a year, the support is level, it's much more significant than if you try to zoom in and say 60 is support because it held the last two days. This isn't really that significant, but you can see that this 62, 63, 64, these are significant support levels over a longer period of time versus when you try to zoom in and find one that's held the last two days. So if you can do that, post your charts and then what you know what's next group, post where support and resistance are, we'll go through them and we'll keep knocking out these lessons.